My name is Blaine. I am the Equipment Division Manager for Monolithic. Today we are going to demonstrate the pump and the mixture that we have developed and built here. This is our EHP 1500. This particular pump was designed specifically for the dome building process. It is relatively simple to operate. The simplicity is what makes this the most valuable pump that we have. This EHP 1500 is driven with a 3 horsepower 220 single phase motor. We drive a piston hydraulic pump which is the best for this system because if you were to get too much pressure on your pump it will bypass the oil through this area right here. Now we also have what we call a speed control right here on the hydraulic system. You can speed your pump up, you can slow it down just by the twist of this knob. Makes it very, very easy to handle. This is the control valve for the direction. We pull it out, it stays put, you're going forward pumping concrete. You need to stop, you bounce it into neutral. You gotta back it up a little bit. It's a spring load for the purpose of not damaging the inside, but yet you can relieve the pressure on your hose. So that if you do get a problem down here, it's much, much easier to take care of the problem. Remove the plug, relieve the pressure, whatever it has to be. Now if you notice, down inside the pump, we have opposing rollers that squeeze this internal line. That squeezing action, as the hose opens, actually sucks the mud in from the hopper and pushes it out through the top into our supply line going into the building. The elbow right here is clamped so that it can be removed for cleanup. When we replace, remove and replace the peristaltic hose, this part of the mechanism down here is removed. We take this clamp off up on the top with the pump in reverse, then you can pull the hose out very easily. To replace the hose, you just reverse what we just did to take it out. For using this particular pump that we have, a 185 CFM compressor is the best way to go. This is what gives you the pressure for the nozzle to project onto the wall. We've mixed up some primer, poured it into the hopper. Is Alamo We've got the pump running now. The next step is to actually activate the pump. He's going to pull that into forward. This pumps the primer down through the line to lubricate that hose so it's ready to accept the concrete when we get it into the hopper. Mixer's still turning. This mixer is built purposely for this hopper. We walk up to it, tilt it forward. As you can see, we're starting to pour into the hopper now. This is the right consistency that we can spray quite nicely. He's going to get this as much as he can, and we're going to have our man come back up here, and he's going to scrape the balance of it out. Now he's shaking out moss, he stopped the mixer, we're going to lift the lid, we're going to scrape out the balance of what's there. All right, the guys are getting ready now to pump the primer through the hose, get the mud out to the end of the hose where they're ready to put the nozzle on. Joey's going to turn it on now. Now he's going to turn the pump on, and you can watch. You see the primer as it comes through the hose. We're going to pump it until we get a little bit of mud out to the hose. As soon as we get to that point, then we can stop it, and we'll put the nozzle on and go in and go to work. Primer is just about out now. Okay, the mud is getting to the end. We shut it off now. What Michael is doing now, he's cleaning the end of this hose, washing it out, so that he can put the nozzle on and get a good clean clamp. That way you don't have problems when you start spray. There, the nozzle's on. Now he's going to have to clamp that down in place. Now to add the air to it. As soon as he gets the air hooked up, 
There, the nozzle is ready to go. Okay, Mike is gearing up to start shooting concrete. And there he goes. As you can see, he gets a circular motion, a thin coat. And this is very imperative to keep it on the walls and not the floors. If you notice, he's shooting overhead. That's where this protective gear is so important. Especially, you see him pulling down his viewpoint there. Didn't even slow down. He pulled it down to a new spot. It's important that you keep moving and you're spraying. Keep a good even cover wherever you go. There he goes again, pulling down his cover. Keep a clear view. It's quite important to realize that you do not put a heavy coat at a time when you're spraying overhead. Because if you do, the weight of the concrete will cause it to all fall in. You do not want to do that because it costs you more time. Okay, if you notice now, we're back out at the pump. We've got this pump working right along. We've got a man taking care of the hopper. Make sure that concrete goes in without any problems. We're getting close to the bottom of the hopper. This little pump is very good for the smaller job. It puts out a lot of concrete for the size of the pump. He's got, he's got some water here he's about ready to pour in. There goes the water. We're getting ready for cleanup. He's going to pour in two buckets of water to start with. Get everything cleaning up. What he's doing here, what he's doing here is cleaning out the hose. Our nozzle man just hollered, said he's got water. Time to shut it down and clean up. And Michael's over here going to clean up this nozzle. Get down in the water and don't be bashful, clean it up. One of the most important parts of the whole operation. Make certain everything is nice and clean. This is so important, otherwise when you go to start up again, you don't have anything because the concrete is set up solid. Sure Those little air holes have to be unplugged because that's how you get your air to give you the action to shoot it onto the walls. Pump back on, we're cleaning out the hose. As you can see, they're just pushing out the remainder of whatever was in there. Now it's mostly water. If you watch real close, you're going to see a sponge come out the end. They put a sponge through about three different times in order to get the uh, hoses clean. Okay, lots of dirty water. There's one sponge right there, two sponges. Okay. As you can see, they got a hose here, rinsing down the hopper. There goes a sponge into the opening. Make sure we get all the sand out of there. Getting all the sand out of it now. So they can follow it up with that sponge. And there it goes. One more sponge. We got clean water coming out the other end of the hose. As you can see, that hopper is clean. No sand left. 